Well, despite the summer like weather that we are expecting this week, the swimming season in our area at the beaches is pretty much over. That is except for one local group of volunteers on a mission to clean our oceans. We knew you guys are great, but Rob is going in with you. This group of volunteers is suiting up to dive off the coast of Rockaway Beach. Their mission? To remove plastics and other pollutants hidden under the surface. This is one of the only areas of the city where scuba diving is legal. So four years ago, diving instructor Nicole Zellick launched monthly cleanups at a small cove about four miles south of JFK Airport. Caring for this dive site is a labor of love. Uh, we come every month. We come even in the winter months when it's cold uh, because we've made a commitment. Just yards from the sand, Zellick says plastic bottles, candy wrappers, and miles of fishing line are mucking up the scenery and potentially endangering sea life. So this is our bread and butter over here. This is a chunk of the fishing line that we have collected. Um, we saw it out of the bottom. And then these are the lead weights. So that line, once it gets tangled, it can destroy lots, lots of life. This group calls themselves Super Dive, and they're just one of thousands of similar groups worldwide, part of the Dive Against Debris Network. They estimate by 2025 some 250 million tons of plastic will have found its way into the world's oceans. The group says small trash hauls during beach cleanups may not seem that impressive, but it eventually all adds up. We've been swimming on this beach since we were little kids for 30, 40 years now, and having these guys come out here to do the beach cleanup is actually really pretty cool that they're doing that. And a lot of people just neglect everything. They leave it, and they don't mind it. like, it's not my business. By helping the environment, these divers hope to persuade the city to expand the number of sites divers can legally access. Well, the Dive Against Debris Project invites organizers, what organizers call citizen scientists, to survey their diving sites to help catalog items that don't belong in the waterways. By the group's count, more than 90 thousand participants have conducted more than 21,000 such surveys and removed 2.2 million pieces of junk, both big and small.